And that's the number one spot right there. So today, we're going to show you 10 songs from the 10 best-selling artists of all time. All time, okay. And you're going to have to guess the correct ranking of each artist within the top 10. Okay. I've never done any of these. Last time I did very badly. It was all time. I think I got some idea. So the ranking was determined by the Recording Industry Association of America based on total units sold across an artist's repertoire. Oh, units sold. So now we're going to hand you this. Oh, so I have a prop? Let's do this. Oh, I know who that guy is. Oh, I know it's Elton John. Elton John? Hey, I recognize something. I've seen him about 10 times. Oh, yeah. Benny and the Jets. All time great. He's making his final tour this year. It's a superb song. Well done, Elton. Oh my goodness, he writes so good. Number three. I'm gonna give him seven. Putting in number four, but it's a wild guess right now. Oh, I put him at four for now. Elton John, number four. The Beatles are ahead of him and Frank Sinatra. I put him down as a three, because I think the Beatles would go first. Two. Because he just has such good, strong hit songs. <gasps> oh my God, my favorite. My Elvis. My oh, Elvis. Love him. Take my whole life too. Now Elvis has got to be right up there. My whole now Elvis, I saw his last run at in Vegas at the Hilton. For I can't help falling in love. He's so handsome. He usually didn't do these love songs. He's one of the top guys. He's at number two. I gotta give him three. He's one of the top. Number one right now. Just how I'm feeling. Two. Because I like him. Number one. He was so popular at the time. Number three. Because he's freaking Elvis. He's the king. I know the song, but I don't know who this is. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Billy Joe. Okay, Billy Joe. This guy wrote so many incredible songs. Where's Christy? Going steady with Christy Brinkley, pretty cool. But he wouldn't be one of the top, I don't think. I love this song. He's number six. He sold a lot of records, has a lot of songs, very popular. I'm gonna put him right behind Elton. I don't think he sold as many albums out, but his hits were easily as big. Number eight. I don't think it would be all-time sales. Six. More people would know the name Elvis and Elton John than they would Billy Joel. Hey, oh, wow. Pink Floyd. All in all, it's just a break you know. Amazing. Oh, this is so awesome. What a masterpiece. And so far ahead of its time. Break in the wall. I like Pink Floyd. I'm gonna say eight. Number six. It's not my one of my favorites. They're gonna be ten in this group. Pink Floyd is more eclectic. Five. Well, a lot of people are really crazy about Pink Floyd. Nine. They're still popular, but I, I think it's a limited popularity. Do you allow me as high as that I reach out? your name in it? Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. My daughter worships Garth Brooks. I uh, love country music. He's amazing. That's one of his biggest hits. But that's probably the only hit that I know him of. I think he's pretty popular. He's uh, probably sold a lot of records. Number four. Six. Number ten. We gotta put it somewhere. Just behind Elvis. He sold a ton of albums over his career. I would put him maybe at a two. Country Western does well. Don't let me die. The Beatles. Oh, Beatles. It's the Beatles. And that's the number one spot right there. Well, that's the Beatles, number one. Those are the days when musicians play real instruments. Oh 
my goodness. Wasn't there one of their last songs, one of their last concerts? Maybe four. There might be better ones. The Beatles are awesome and they are number one. I'm gonna have to put the Beatles number one. Number one. They continuously sell the record. Number one. They sold the most, they're the most influence on people in music history. Okay, this is Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin is gonna give us their love. Their time was short because they broke up early on. And they all had that long curly hair. Too much rock for me. Number nine. Number eight. Number seven. And we'll see after I hear everybody else. Eight. Just because I'm trying to take into consideration how long they were together. Ten right now. I don't think they have that universal appeal. Welcome to the hotel. The Eagles. The Eagles. It's a great American band right there. You guys are fabulous. Love you, Eagles. Five. Maybe three. I know that song was popular, but I'm going to put them down at the bottom. Eight. How did they do after they made that hit? Number eight, because I ran out of face. I was shaking up the name. Who's that? Um, I'm trying to figure out who these guys are. They're gonna be mad at me for not knowing who they are. A little harder rock that I'm into. Fantastic. Who is that? ACDC? ACDC. Mm -hmm. I've heard of them. I know the t-shirt more than the song. The bottom. Seven. Because I think they would be less popular than the Eagles. Five. Because they only have three and five left. I got them at the bottom. I don't think they have the kind of sales that the rest of them do. Four, because they're certainly not two, but they're not four either. How about number 11? What, That's... you gonna give me Sinatra or somebody like that? No women singers. Hey, where, 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 where are the women? <laughs> Michael Jackson. It, it's, it's MJ or it's Beatles at the top. Michael! Oh, okay. Well, that guy had a lot of talent, that's for sure. He's certainly not number 10. <laughs> Definitely, I need to make some changes. Obviously, I can put him number 10. He's neck and neck with Elvis. So now that you've watched through all of these, we're going to give you a chance to make changes. Let us know when you're locked. Oh, oh, that's right. So ACDC, you're going to number 10. But Elvis Presley, then, I guess, is number 3. Just the one switch on top. Put MJ up there in the Beatles second. Number 10 is ACDC. Okay, I have it as number 9. Oh, I got that right! Yes. All right. Got it right. Got it. I did get that one right. Got it right. Number nine is Pink Floyd. I got seven. I was close. Number five. That's not close. I got that. Got number nine right. I got both of them right. Number eight is Elton John. Wow, I missed that by a lot. Oh, really? I got him at seven. Number seven is Michael Jackson. What? I need a recount. Now, that's a surprise to me. Michael, what happened? I thought he'd be... Top three. Number six, Billy Joel. Oh, I had that before and I changed it. I had him at six and changed it. So wrong again. I got Billy Joel at six. Number five, the Eagles. The Eagles that far up? Oh, really? Oh. I had them at three. I got the Eagles at five. That's three, correct. Four is Led Zeppelin. Wow. I don't know a single song they do. I never would have got that. Led Zeppelin, I don't know squat about it. It's still not popular, huh? I had Led Zeppelin at number four. That's four, I count them four. Number three is Elvis Presley. Oh, I had him at number two. I got number four, so I got three close ones. All right. Wow, I got one. That is five. Number two is Garth Brooks. Oh my God. You know, the country western uh, element there, I guess. My daughter will be happy to hear that. I did have him correct. And number one, finally, the Beatles. Really? Uh, yeah, if you think about it, yeah. I had him at number two. That's not that far. So I got number one and number nine. That's what I got. Oh, I was correct on that one. You got that one. I had the Beatles at number one, baby. The lads from Liverpool. I wasn't far off. Okay, I was far off. He said I got the one correct. Maybe I got a little luckier than I thought it was going to be. I think it's spectacular. For one who was so trepidatious, 
I, I think six is okay. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Subscribe like Rainbow Pikachu. Come say hi in the comments if you want a shout out like Amazing Toast and Nancy Santos. Hey guys, Kyle here, producer at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elders React. Do you agree that those are the top 10 artists of all time? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys.